Hi Web Calculator Creators. This short tutorial is for using various kinds of input fields available in our GS2 Web Calculator framework. In this video, we'll talk about input fields like Select, Radio Button, Range Slider Input Field, Checkbox Input Field, and Group Button. 1. Text Type Input Field When you select the Text Type field, a field will be created that lets the user insert text or text with numbers. 2. Number Type Input Field As is obvious, the field lets the number as input. 3. Select Type Input Field Select Type lets you create a dropdown of options. There are two ways to create a dropdown of the data. Write Options Data with a Comma Separator For example, to create a dropdown of weekdays, you can write like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Likewise, or. The second way is to write all data in a column and just write data range like, say, we write in column L, Monday to Sunday. So the range is L1, L7. So, if you write L1 EL7 in the data column of the calculator template, the web calculator will show a dropdown from Monday to Sunday. 4. A checkbox input type. You must create a checkbox for some data. This input type should be selected. You need to write option 1, option 2, and option 3. The web calculator will have a checkbox input with those options. 5. Range input type. To give a user a slider for choosing a value, you can use range input type. For example, say you want users to choose a value between 1 to 100, then in the data column, you write 1, 100, 1, which means 1 is the minimum value, 100 is the max value, and the slider will move by 1. 6. Radio input type, similar to select input type, when you want users to choose only one out of many options, you can write the options, separated by a comma, and the web calculator will have a radio input type field with those options. 7. You can set the radio options from vertical to horizontal view. To do this, select it from vertical to horizontal in the GS2 web calculator dashboard. 7. Group Button Input Type You can represent as Select Input Type or Radio Input Type or a more fancy button type when you select Group Button. For example, if you need to give users to say yes, no, or two to three options, just select Group Button and in the Data column, write options with comma separation. For example, yes, comma, no. On the web calculator, a group of buttons will appear with yes, no. 8. Group Box Input Type Group Box Input Type does not create an input field but actually groups various input fields below that row. Group Box is also very helpful when you want to hide some input fields conditionally. To watch this video, please check the i button on this video. Isn't it great? So, thank you for watching this video. If you think this video is helpful, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more videos related to GS2WP calculators.